The Bible tells us that God is love. He is the perfect embodiment of love, and we rely heavily on the constancy and universal reach of that love. As President Thomas S. Monson has expressed, God's love is there for you whether or not you feel you deserve love. It is simply always there. There are many ways to describe and speak of divine love. One of the terms we hear often today is that God's love is unconditional. While in one sense that is true, the descriptor unconditional appears nowhere in Scripture. Rather, his love is described in Scripture as great and wonderful love, perfect love, redeeming love, and everlasting love. These are better terms because the word unconditional can convey mistaken impressions about divine love, such as God tolerates and excuses anything we do because his love is unconditional, or God makes no demands upon us because his love is unconditional, or all are saved in the heavenly kingdom of God because his love is unconditional. God's love is infinite and it will endure forever. But what it means for each of us depends on how we respond to his love. Jesus said, as the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. To continue in or abide in the Savior's love means to receive his grace and be perfected by it. To receive his grace, we must have faith in Jesus Christ and keep his commandments, including repenting of our sins, being baptized for the remission of sins, receiving the Holy Ghost, and continuing in the path of obedience.